Welcome back to your practice. Today we are going to focus our flow on a lot of hip opening. So for our practice today, you will want to grab one block or something that can replace this block. We'll use it in a supported bridge pose. So you could grab a rolled up blanket or towel. You could grab a thicker pillow or something like that as a nice replacement. So go ahead and grab your prop if you don't already have something nearby. And then we're gonna meet lying down on our backs. So just finding your way onto your back, any position on your back that feels grounding and supportive for you here. For me today, that's looking like taking my feet out wide, not quite as wide as my yoga mat, but out nice and wide and knocking my knees in towards one another. That feels really good for my low back today but in no way is this how you need to start your practice if that's not what works for you. And then see if you can just tap right into your breath. Starting to find that ujjayi breath, so our nose to nose breathing. There's a slight constriction at the back of the throat that creates that ocean sounding breath. And maybe you think about setting an intention for our time together. We carry a lot of stress and tension in our hips. And so the intention that I'm holding for myself here today is seeing if I can just start to work on releasing some of that stress, some of that overwhelm that I've been feeling. It's been feeling really heavy for me lately. And so maybe that's something that resonates with you. If it does, you can share that intention with me. But as always, you are welcome to set your own intention. And start to walk your feet in, planting your feet down on the mat, knees up towards the ceiling. Feet are going to be hips width distance here. Take your arms long down by your side. Start to tuck your tailbone, press into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up. And as you do, reach your arms up and overhead. And on your exhale, we take everything back down to that starting position. So moving in this rolling bridge. So inhale, find that lift. Don't worry about lifting really high here. Exhale, lower down. We're just starting to warm things up in the body. So inhale, find that lift, arms reach, press it into those feet. Exhale and lower down. Let's take two more like that. So inhale, lift those hips up, reach those arms. Exhale, everything lowers down nice and slow. And one more, we use that whole breath in to find that lift. And we use that whole breath out to come back down. Once the hips hit, bring your knees into your chest. Take some gentle rock side to side. And then start to take those rock and rolls up and down, moving along the length of your spine. And we're gonna rock up and meet me in a standing forward fold. So those feet can be wider than hips width distance here. Arms can hang down heavy, can take some gentle sways of the hips side to side, bending one knee or bending the other. Maybe you shake your head yes, shake it no, trying to help release any tension that you might be holding in the neck. And then find some stillness in the standing forward fold. Plant the left hand down, bring a nice bend to that left knee and inhale, reach that right arm up. So we add a twist, right fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. 
Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, come back down through that standing forward fold. Plant the right hand, bend to that right knee. Reach those left fingertips up. Big inhale breath. Exhale, bring it back down. Start to heel toe your feet to a hip width distance. Hands come to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands down to the mat. Step it back. Meet me in a downward facing dog. So we look like an upside down V. Give yourself a moment here. Pedal out those feet, bending one knee, bending the other. Maybe coming up onto your tippy toes for the moment. Stretching out the bottoms of your feet. That feels really good for my feet here today. And then find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Let your chest press back towards your thighs, gazing back in between your legs. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale your right leg high behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips open. Take a three-legged dog with a twist. I like to kind of play with straightening and bending that right leg. I like to roll out the ankle. If there's anything calling to you here, maybe you give it a try. And then inhale, square your hips back with your mat. Exhale, bring that right knee to your nose, patting your back. Inhale, send that right leg back behind you. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. We crunch it in. Inhale, send it back high. Exhale, step that right foot on the inside of your hands. Landing in a low lunge, let your left knee soften down to the mat. Hands are just going to stay here, framing that right foot. Right knee over the right ankle. Take three breaths here. And then start to bring the right hand on the inside of the right foot. He'll toe that right foot to the edge of your mat. We're now in a lizard lunge, both hands on the inside of the right foot, right toes pointing to about one o'clock here. You can stay on tall arms. If it's available, you could come down into forearms, but that's going to get Intense pretty quickly, so we're still kind of warming things up here. So maybe you stay on tall arms for now. And now, if you are on your forearms, come back to tall arms, and we're all going to start to heel toe that right foot all the way over towards the left side of our mat, finding our half pigeon. So you're Shin gets to rest down on the mat, that right knee more or less behind that right wrist, left leg fully extended behind you. For this first one, please stay up on tall arms for now, get in a different part of the hips here. And start to press into your hands. Curl those left toes under. Step it back. Meet me in your downward facing dog. Take a moment. Maybe you pedal out those feet. Just starting to notice how things have maybe shifted and changed in your body. How they feel now versus how they did before. And then inhale that left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee. Stack your hips. And then we have that opportunity here to kind of play around a little bit. Rolling the ankle, maybe taking some circles with the knee, maybe straightening and bending the leg. Inhale, square your hips back with the mat. Exhale, left knee to the nose. 
Inhale, send it back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, step that left foot all the way through in between your hands and let your right knee soften down. We find ourselves first in this low lunge. Left knee over the left ankle. Hips square with the mat. So it feels like this gentle pulling of the right hip forward, the left hip back. Hands just framing that left foot. And now start to heel toe that left foot outside of the left hand, both hands on the inside of the left foot. Left toe is pointing to about 11 o'clock. We're in our lizard lunge now. Sending that breath all the way down to your hips. It'll help quite a bit with the release. It'll help with any slight discomfort. It'll help us go a little bit deeper. And now start to heel toe that left foot all the way over towards the right side of your mat, finding that half pigeon on tall arms. So right leg extended long. You have that block, so you could always take that block, slide it underneath the left glute if you need a little bit of support here. And curl those right toes under. Press into the hands. Meet me back in your downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath. And adding on a little bit here, inhale that right leg high behind you. This time, exhale, step that right foot all the way through in between your hands. Spin your left heel down to the mat. We create a heel to arch alignment with our feet and then cartwheel those arms up. Meet me in a warrior two. So shoulders stacked over our hips, hips open towards the long edge of our mat. Notice all of this hip opening here, easing over that front middle finger. Flip that front palm. Start to straighten that right leg as you inhale, reach that right arm up and back, reverse triangle. Exhale, arms come out to a T, shift the hips back. Right hand comes down onto that right shin, left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. We're in our triangle pose. Of course, stays engaged so you don't just dump all of your weight into that right hand. Take a big breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Hands framing your right foot. Soften that left knee down. We meet in that low lunge. Finding your lizard lunge, bringing that right foot to the outside of the right hand. This time you can stay on tall arms or maybe you come down onto those forearms in your lizard lunge. We're here for three breaths. And if you were on forearms, first come back to your tall arms and then start to heel toe the right foot over towards the left side of your mat. Half pigeon pose. Once again, stay on tall arms or this time invitation to come down onto your forearms. This time we'll be here for about five breaths. So allowing yourself to soften. Maybe take a sip of your coffee if you're like me today.
And then come back up into tall arms and make your way back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhale that left leg high behind you. Exhale, step that left foot through in between your hands. That right heel spins down this time and cartwheel your arms up to your warrior two. Right foot is no more than par parallel with the back edge of your mat. We gaze over that front middle finger. Shoulders get to relax down the back. Flip that front palm. Inhale, straighten that left leg as you reach that left arm up and back. And then exhale, bring that left arm forward, shift the hips back. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. We're in that triangle pose. So that gaze can go wherever feels better for you. That might just be straight ahead. It might be down at your mat. Maybe the gaze shifts up towards the right hand if it feels okay with your neck and your balance today. Take a big breath in. Exhale, runner's lunge. Hands framing that left foot. Let your right knee soften down to the mat. We're in our low lunge. Three breaths. You'll toe that left foot to the left edge of your mat, both hands on the inside of the left foot. We're in lizard lunge on tall arms or on forearms. Choice is yours for three breaths. Inhale back up into your tall arms and heel toe that left foot over towards the right side of your mat. Find your half pigeon. If for any reason this half pigeon, I should have told you this earlier, but if for any reason this half pigeon is not working for you today, take a figure four on your back. That's always a really nice replacement. So you can stay in tall arms or you can come down onto your forearms. And come back up into tall arms. And one more time, make your way downward facing dog. Take any movements that might feel nice here. It is our final downward facing dog of our practice. And start to walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. Come all the way down onto a seat. And then grab your block or block replacement and bring it with you as we lower all the way down onto our backs. Once we get there, feet, hips with distance, planted on your mat, knees up towards the ceiling. And we're coming into a supported bridge pose now. So just like when we did that rolling bridge, we're going to tuck that tailbone, press into the feet, lift the hips up. This time, grab that block slide it underneath your low back and allow your sacrum to rest down on that block. So I usually suggest starting at the lowest height, especially if this is the first time that you've taken a supported bridge pose before, just start nice and low. If this feels good and you want to try moving it up to the middle height, very rarely do I encourage taking it all the way up to the highest height. I think that's really high for most people. So I usually stay 
at the lowest or middle height. Arms stay by your side. Allow yourself to feel supported here. Take two more breaths. Press into the feet, lift the hips up, go ahead and slide your block out from underneath and slowly lower back onto your back. And then give yourself some gentle windshield wipers of the knees side to side, just neutralizing the spine. And then take the soles of your feet together. Knees are going to come out nice and wide, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Give yourself a moment to come back to that intention if you set one with me at the start of our practice. Maybe noticing if you were sharing that intention of me or that intention with me of letting go of something that's maybe been holding you down, that's been stressing you out, that's been feeling heavy. Maybe noticing if you were able to release a little bit. If you were able to give yourself a little bit more space. Maybe to approach things with a little bit more clarity. And then as always, give yourself a moment to find some gratitude for this beautiful body of yours that supports you. And then as you're ready, you can extend your legs out long, allow your arms to rest down beside you, taking a few moments in our Shavasana, our final resting posture. Start to bring some small movements back to your body. A wiggle of fingers and toes, maybe rolling the wrists and the ankles. Maybe taking a big good morning stretch, reaching long fingertips to toes. And rolling over onto your favorite side, finding a fetal posture. One more moment of rest. 
of support. And then gently pressing yourself up, coming to a seated posture, roots down, crown high, finding some length through your spine. Inhale, sweep those arms out nice and wide. Let your palms meet overhead. Exhale, let your hands come down through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. Om Shanti. Peace. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope your hips are feeling as good as mine are right now. And as always, if you don't have my free daily practice calendar, make sure you go ahead and grab that. The link is in the description below. And I have a fun little surprise for you. If you check the description, you will find a link to more bonus content, more bonus yoga videos that are available. It's part of a little secret project an experiment that I am trying. So go grab that bonus content below. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back on your mat for your next 